in this video demonstration I'm going to show you how to use the new Cracker Hat die by John Next Door to make the brilliant Cracker Hat. This is a very traditional British sort of crown hat. Here's two pieces I haven't glued together. Here's a crepe paper one that I have. So we'll just open that out. So you get the proper sort of cracker hat that you would get inside any Christmas cracker or a cracker for any occasion really. Very, very simple to use. The die comes, you've got two sections to it. So you've got the section for the hat and you've also got a little section here for you to cut out for a joke or a motto or a saying or anything that you may want to put in. Now the die cuts along the top and the bottom but doesn't cut along the sides. The sides are left open, that way the, it will continue. And I'm going to make a cracker in tissue paper. So I've just got very sort of um, economical cheap tissue paper here. Um, and I've got two colours. So you need to put two sheets together. Um, and I like the idea of having two separate colours. It's entirely up to you. And what you need to do is you need to fold this. So I'm just going to put two big sheets down. And we want to make the folds. So very, very simply... Put your two edges together and you want to make your first fold so that it's narrower than this section here. So I'm just going to take a piece. You don't have to be really careful with this and just fold it in. I'm then going to repeat and instead of concertining, I'm almost rolling it up. I'm folding each piece up. Just check to make sure it's narrower than the actual die itself if it does come out larger than the die it doesn't matter at all you'll just have to trim it off slightly to finish it off so i'm putting this together and probably by the end i've probably got about 20 layers of tissue paper which is why i'm using a tissue paper so something very nice and thin and there i have my roll all folded up and again i can just check make sure it's around the same size or a little bit smaller than the die itself. Again, if it goes too large, don't worry, I'll show you how we can trim that off. So I'm simply going to take the die and put it down. Now I'm taping this onto tissue paper. So try and tape it onto pieces that you will waste because it's very hard to get off. And I'm just going to trim this to size a little bit to make it easier for me to run through the machine. And then I'm simply going to pop that onto my machine don't worry about the number of layers. Say we're using tissue paper or crepe paper. Bring my Kaleido in because this will fit through any A5 or above die cutting machine. And just cut it through. Very easy to cut. And when we take this out, you'll see that the two sides haven't cut. I'm perfect. I've got one side here that hasn't finished. So we'll just take this off. So you can see here slightly a little bit bigger so it hasn't finished just take your scissors cut it off or just tear it off we'll move that out of the way and you'll then see that you have all of the pieces that you need in one long strip so you can estimate the size of the hat you need so for this one you need one two three four five six seven eight nine and just trim it off you should get two hats from each strip. One might be a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to glue it at the ends. Now I'm using glue glaze. You want to use something that's a very sort of dry glue like this. Or if you're using PVA, just put a little bit of PVA down on your mat and drag it along. You want a very light coating as you're gluing very, very light material. On the other side, I'm going to neaten it off so it finishes at a point again. And just put glue glaze all the way down. There we go. And seal that off. And there we have made your two-tone cracker hat, which simply folds up along the lines you've already folded from before. And to pop it into your cracker, I just tend to roll it up a little bit. And I'm going to use one of the press cut circle tags. You could pop a little name on there or a little motto or something. And I'm just going to feed a little bit of ribbon through. Just so my hat's closed up. You could add a gift to this. We'll wrap that round a couple of times. 
and tie it off. You've got your little tag and your little cracker hat. Here's one in two shades of green that you could simply send. I've got a little glass bead here that I might put in as a present so I can slide that in. Pop a motto in if you're using one and put it into your cracker. Very simple, very easy to use. Mm -hmm.